Hi YouTube, uh, Drew of the Shed here again. Um, I'm actually coming to you on a Saturday this time. Um, like I said in my previous video, weather is getting a little nicer. Um, probably going to be trying to post uh, videos a little bit more often. Um, still going to be keeping my as matches 860. So eloquently called it my Sunday message videos. That's not going to go away. Those are still going to stay the same, but uh, during the other days of the week, uh, possibly some re reviews. Um, just check-ins and um, looking at getting a tripod so I can actually do some cooking videos over my stove. Um, but yeah, that should be uh, coming along. Uh, and a little bit of housekeeping. Some Cornell and Deals Lunchtime Blues in my Danish Sovereign 337. And let me get a relight real quick on here. So, um, why I'm making this video today at least is um, the last video I made, a lot of you know I was looking for guidance and a lot of you gave it to me and, and quite quality guidance at that. And so for that, um, as you know, I haven't responded to any of you and that's because I didn't know exactly how or what to say. And so I decided to make a video. I actually tried making this video on Wednesday and the cat kept wanting to play with me and that just didn't work out for a good video. Um, but yeah, a, a very, very sincere thank you. Um, I, I have given it a lot of thought about what I want to do. And I, I watched also Ethan Lovett's last video uh, titled Divine Sausage. Talked about a guy that what he really wants to do is open up his own sausage, I guess you would call it house, and just make his own sausage. And um, so there are a couple of things I'm passionate about. First one being craft beer and home brewing. Second being tobacco. And what really lacks here in this area is a good tobacconist. I know some of you watching that know the area say, well, there's a uh, tobacconist there where you live in Bozeman, and yes, there is, um, but it might not exactly be here. So, um, I'm planning, or will be banking a business plan for a craft beer, homebrew, and tobacconist. Um, I don't know exactly where it's going to be, but it's something that if I'm passionate about it, I really thought about it, I should do it. And it's another thing that I love teaching. And it would give me opportunity to not only be creative, but also teach as well about, you know, beer and tobacco. So, I'll keep you guys updated on that, how the business plan is coming. Um, I have written a business plan for class uh, in college in the past, but never one on my own. It's always been as a group, so a little bit of a daunting task there. Secondly, um, Mr. Two Bit Leather Kyle had posted on Instagram that he had some wallets for sale. And there are some nice looking wallets. And I said, I want one of those. And this is the one I got. But not only did he send a wallet, but a surprise to me. He sent, see here, some Rat Rays, Old Gallery, some Dunhill, Baby's Bottom, and some Cornell and Deal, Pasha's Dream. Um, Two of these are English blends. I don't have a pipe that you've seen me smoke for English blends. But I will be debuting here soon a pipe I found at an antique store um, that Derek Pipe Leisure restored for me. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. It's a uh, Savinelli Capri Ebony 625 shape, which I don't think is made anymore. So, 
um, when I smoke one of these, maybe tomorrow, um, in my Sunday message, um, probably be an English blend first. I'm, I'm really looking forward to all three. Um, and so Kyle, thank you very much for that. It was a huge surprise to me that you include that. Um, I didn't ask for it. Um, so thank you very, very much. Um, also again, thank you to everybody who gave me advice, the personal stories, the personal experiences. I really, really appreciate it. And it really helped me. Um, so with that, until I see you tomorrow, be kind and good to each other.